When some heavy machines go head to head, all you can do is sit back and be amazed by their stunning capabilities. Today, we're diving into another epic clash between these heavyweights to see who will take out the top spots. So, let's find out. The first two titans up to battle are the Vietgen W250i cold milling machine versus the Caterpillar AP1055F asphalt paver. First up, the Vietgen W250i cold milling machine. This bad boy is the Swiss army knife of road resurfacing. With a price tag of $800,000, it stands out for not only its power, but its precision too. With a milling weight of 45 tons, a width of 2.2 meters, and a milling depth of 350 millimeters, as well as advanced leveling systems, dust removal, and water cleaning options, it's all about getting the job done right the first time. But let's not forget its worthy competitor, the Caterpillar AP1055F Asphalt Paver. With a lower cost of $500,000, this machine is who you call when you want to lay down new roads like you're spreading butter. Smooth and efficient, it's got a paving width that stretches from 2.55 to a whopping 9.15 meters, a weight of 20 tons and a hopper that can lug 15 tons of asphalt and just keep going. Add to that its mobile track stability system and ACERT fuel efficient tech and it puts up quite the fight. So who emerges as the champion in the first round? Drum roll, please. It's the Vietgen W250i. And why is that? While the CAT AP1055F is certainly no slouch, the Vietgen is a pure specialist in its field. And with its unmatched efficiency and specialized precise milling capabilities, it just sneaks in to take the trophy this time. All right, let's shift gears and burrow into the underground scene with our next pair of mechanical marvels. It's the Sandvik DT1132i Tunneling Jumbo versus the Komatsu HB365LC3 Hybrid Excavator. On one side, we have the Sandvik DT1132i Tunneling Jumbo, a true beast when it comes to making new paths under the earth. This machine isn't just about brute force, it's about smarts too. With a price tag of around $3 million, it's designed to a high standard for carving through rock with the precision of a surgeon thanks to its advanced control systems. With its 14.5 meters in length and compact width and height, it makes short work of the hard stuff. Then there's the Komatsu HB365 LC3 Hybrid Excavator. This isn't your average digger. Priced reasonably lower at just $2 million, this one is part electric, part diesel, and all business. It's got a bucket that can scoop up to 1.9 cubic meters of earth in one go, and it digs down real deep, over 8 meters to be exact. And just like you see in the name, what's really cool in this one is its hybrid engine, which is not just about power, but about being green, reducing emissions while still getting those tough jobs done. So, who comes out on top in this subterranean showdown? The crown this time goes to the Sandvik DT1132i Tunneling Jumbo. While the Komatsu is impressive in its own right, especially with its eco-friendly vibes, the Sandvik is the one you want when you're making your way through the underground. But of course, if you have another idea, let us know in the comments below. Now let's venture into the colossal world of surface mining with our next duo where every move is about shifting mountains, literally. It's the Liebherr T284 mining truck versus the Caterpillar 7495 electric rope shovel. Up first, the Liebherr T284 mining truck, a behemoth that's all about carrying the load. And when we say load, we're talking about a staggering 363 metric tons. This $5 million giant is more than just muscle, it's about moving mountains of material with an efficiency almost impossible to match. Which is why, when it comes to payload capacity, this is 
the world's largest, powered by a diesel electric system that's as robust as it is advanced and cutting edge traction controls and brakes, this is truly a tough one to beat. But if anyone can challenge this heavyweight, it's the Caterpillar 7495 electric rope shovel. This isn't just any shovel, it's a $20 million powerhouse that can lift 120 cubic meters in one go. It's like scooping up a small house with every load. It's designed for the heavy lifting and digging of up to 24 meters down below the earth. On top of that, it's another record holder, this time boasting the world's biggest dipper capacity. And with its electric drive tech, the ProVision control system, and more advanced tech, it's designed to be as efficient as possible, making every move count. So who takes the title in this round? Just slipping into the top spot is the Liebherr T284 mining truck. And why? Well, because in the world of surface mining, it's not just about how much you can lift, it's about how much you can move. And with its unparalleled capacity, innovative powertrain, and specialist design, the Liebherr T284 is in a league of its own, giving it the edge in this surface mining matchup. Our next challenges are giants of construction. We have the Hitachi ZX870LC6 excavator versus the Volvo EC950F excavator. Starting with the Hitachi ZX870LC6, priced at $1.5 million, this machine is a true workhorse in the field of construction. With an 87-ton operating weight and a bucket that can dive 11 meters deep and hold 4.5 cubic meters, it's designed to handle some of the toughest jobs on the planet. It's not just about digging holes either, it's about doing it with efficiency and precision thanks to its advanced TRIS-2 hydraulic system and fuel-saving technology. And switching gears to the Volvo EC950F excavator, this $2 million behemoth is not to be underestimated. It weighs 90 tons, reaches a digging depth of 9.8 meters, and has a hefty bucket capacity of 5.6 cubic meters. But what really sets it apart is its eco-friendly Tier 4 engine and the comfort it offers to those at the helm. It's the luxury sedan of excavators, providing power without compromising on operator comfort or environmental responsibility. So who's the top dog in this construction showdown? Edging into the top spot with its industry-leading design, the Volvo EC950F snags the crown with its blend of brute strength, advanced technology, and commitment to sustainability. Whether it's digging deep or moving mountains, the Volvo EC950F does it with style and efficiency, proving that in the world of construction, this time it's the king. But make sure you let us know your thoughts in the comments what decision you would have made. Lastly for today, we're heading into the world of agriculture with the John Deere CP690 Cotton Picker versus the Kubota M72 Tractor Series. The John Deere CP690 isn't just any cotton picker, it's the superhero of cotton harvesters. Priced at around $800,000, this machine is a true game changer for cotton farmers. With a length of 12.5 meters, a width of 6.5, and a height of 4.6 meters, it's designed to harvest cotton with unparalleled efficiency and precision, and it now stands as the world's most advanced cotton picker, with integrated row tracking tech and optimized harvest and cleaning systems, it ensures that every piece of cotton is picked perfectly at the precise time, every time. And its worthy competitor, the Kubota M72 Tractor Series, standing at 3.5 meters in height and 3 meters in width, it may be slightly smaller than its opponent, but it's just as versatile a player in the agricultural arena. This tractor tills the soil while running up to 170 horsepower, and with a GPS guidance system, it's reliable and efficient for a range of farming tasks. With a price tag starting around $120,000, a lot lower than its competition, and also featuring an IntelliShift transmission, this is going to be a tough battle to take home the title. 
But there must be a winner in this agricultural face-off, and this time, the John Deere CP690 cotton picker takes the trophy. The way it revolutionized the picking process with road tracking and moisture sensing, as well as its superior quality output, pushes it ahead into the top spot. And that's it until next time. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to let us know what you think we got right or wrong, and which epic machines you'd like to see battle it out in a future video. And as usual, share, subscribe, and like this video for more heavy machine showdowns.